touch gloves, and go to your corners. Well, I guess Mark thinks that Josh is number one as well. <laughs> Not surprised. Not at all. Title on the line. Here we go. The leopard trunks from Mark the Shark Irwin. Black, red, and a little yellow for the preacher man, Joshua Oxendine. Irwin trying to take control of that center trigon. Very wide stance, Paul. Yep. Oxenden has circled him a few times already. They're trying to just measure each other up, trying to get that right distance. I know one thing. Mark Irwin's going to sit down on his punches with that stance. Yeah, he tried that. Yep, Oxenden clipped him. Yeah, he's going to have to disguise that end a little bit. That wide stance can make him and make him end up a little reach a little bit. Josh has boxed for a long time. Golden Gloves champion. Said, I'll showcase my skills and I'll shut the shark down tonight. Good job there by Oxendine. But a little bit awkward between these two so far as far as getting the, the right distance. Even Oxendine, after he throws that jab, pulls back a little bit too much. Midway point of round number one. This fight's scheduled for five. Double left hand thrown by Josh Oxendine. Smile on the face of Irwin. Crowd is into it. Sheeran Oxendine, I think. Gotta love it. This is his building. One minute. Swing and a miss. Good movement by Oxendine thus far. Yeah, even when he looks corner, he's able to escape off those corners and get back at center trigon. Irwin's done a good job of holding center, center trigon, but he's not been able to actually close the gap to get any proper work done. And not that Oxendine's done a whole lot of work, but at least right. he's been able to do a little bit. Either guys, both guys are still in that awkward phase where they're not able to get each other's measurements yet, and, and nothing is landing, nothing much is landing, let alone la land cleanly. Feeling out process, to say the least, in the first three minutes of this title fight. They'll get there, man. I mean, yeah, seven, they will. Seven rounds, three minutes. He doesn't have a lot of room yeah. This is amazing. It feels good as a kid. You dream of moments like this. Now I have to go in and get it. They touched gloves. Oh, he didn't give him the number one this time. No, he did not. See, that's the thing about that kind of demeanor. You have to make sure you maintain it the whole way. Otherwise, you give away mental losses and mental wins. You see, like if, if I'm if I'm Oxendine, I'm saying, okay, he didn't give me the the number one this. Oh, picture. Close 
finishing off and just closing that gap. It's, it's been his biggest problem, and now he's got a bigger problem because now he's been down and he's, the deficit is even larger. Just getting that last six to eight inches where you're able to really load up a good shot that will land. Irwin has not been able to really gain that distance. Some work in the clinch. Box out. Oxen Dine is, is just showcasing calmness and a skill set that he believes will be enough for him to capture this first ever lightweight belt. And I can see the flailing. He, he, get, gaining that last six inches for Irwin has been a real challenge, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he's sort of looking for ideas there where he finds himself flailing trying to gain it. See, right there is where you gotta drop some feints, some, some different level changes. You know, he's, he's kind of giving the same look every time. And he can even faint with his legs or with his hands even, you know? But Oxendine sees it all. He does indeed, Paulie. And, you know, this is a small surface, smallest surface in combat sports. But Josh isn't getting trapped anywhere, is he? No, no, he's, he's, he's been using his legs very, very well. In both directions, right there, he slips on the other side. Good maneuverability there. And again, all it's gonna, even if there's no counters there, which there was a counter right there, but even if there's no counters, the frustration of Irwin continues. Because now Irwin, having been down, knows he needs to get the oxen down. Yes. So it, 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 it's, the frustration grows. You come in with a ton of bravado and you, you anger the hometown crowd, you gotta deliver. And so far, the hometown kid has the big punch that's landed in this title fight. Grab the shorts. <laughs> so he didn't want him to try. That's one way to get him to stay still. <laughs> Good round for Josh Oxendine, and that got the crowd into it. Big time. The crowd was waiting for that shot. Play, see how that shot lands right there. Beautiful shot. Little touch left hand, little short one too. See, a little feint with that. Actually, he didn't even really stick out the, le the left hand all the way out. It's a one two, but it was almost like a, a staggered left hand. It, was, yeah. it didn't extend all the way. It was almost a, it was as a blinder. Down, uh, to to, this, to the put the right hand, and the, ra and the right hand landed right on the button. Worthy of note that here in the state of South Carolina, this title fight is regulated to five three-minute rounds. The women went seven two-minute rounds. So time is not on the side of Mark Irwin after being knocked down by Oxendine. That said, there's still a lot of time left. Yeah, but if there is time, but Mark has to get on it now. Yep. And again, he's got the same challenge in front of him, coming up just short. It's just that last six inches, he's not able to earn it. More dirty boxing. Box. Right hand just missed. Man, Oxendine looks so relaxed. But you see, it, it, again, it's the, the, you mentioned the wide stance goal the early on, and, and again, that wide stance is also going to prevent Irwin from stepping his way into range, and so he winds up continuing to reach. He's got to push off that back leg a little bit stronger and, and on his way in. Instead, he's using it, he's planting that back leg and looking to reach with that right hand, and that's why he's coming up short every time. And also, he's, he's used doing the same, he's using the same method every time. Right. So Oxendine sees it. Oxendine just keeps stepping back out casually out of range and then comes back into range. There it is again. Gonna have to see some adjustments on the part of Irwin if he wants to have success. As now Oxendine's starting to realize it's the same thing and looks to counter it. Josh has the time and distance calculated perfectly thus far. Just past the midway point of this title fight. You see how Irwin keeps 
shooting down to the stomach, and Oxendine keeps trying to parry that shot. So you're getting Oxendine's hands to drop trying to parry that shot. You should be fainting there to the stomach. You get Oxendine's hands to drop on the faint, so you, cause you're trying to get that, looking for him to get you to, to parry that shot that you're fainting with, and then his hands are down. You can shoot to the head instead. Yes. But again, these are just ideas that should be crossing your mind. You know, you, she, Irwin should be picking up the pattern, saying, okay, I, every time I go to the stomach, Oxendine is stepping out, but he's also dropping his hand, parrying that shot. So let me feint it and then shoot to his head. Just an idea, but again, yeah. Oxendine is, is very comfortable right now because Irwin is not making the adjustment. And really, Oxendine doesn't need more knockdowns. If you can just do this, keep him missing, land the occasional jabs or right hand, doesn't have to land clean and he wins the round. Oxenine is doing enough to win this round, though. I'll be honest, he has a little bit right hand to help him. Oh, the referee got in the way there. That was a, he actually twisted Oxendine's ankle, and he got in the way of, uh, of Oxendine's escape route. Yeah. Hopefully, Josh's ankle's fine. Looks like his movement continues to be okay. Mark Irwin's got some work to do. That was a better round for Irwin just because Oxenine didn't do much. escape that way and the referee got in the way. I tell you that could be a hazard too. Try to him that big. Exactly. It's another reason why you can't move a lot in the try down now just because it's small. It's you run it to the referee too. You ready? Could have been a lot worse the way he started to roll that ankle. Title fight continues. Josh Oxendine. The hometown kid. Pembroke, North Carolina. In the black, red, yellow trunks, Mark Irwin in the snow leopard trunks. One knockdown to love, advantage Oxendine. Left got him that time. Blood rolling down the left side yeah, and of that's Irwin's face. That's some of those jabs. As well, Oxen started this round, landed a couple of good jabs in the middle, and, the and that's going to start to mess with that eye even more. And again, Irwin's still looking for answers. Box, gentlemen. You need to engage. To the body. Well, Irwin's starting to get those right hands to the body landing pretty good. That's a good hook, too. I'll tell you, man, if he would just cut those, cut the ring, I don't want to say cut the ring off, but cut the trigon off, because Oxenine's been circling, yeah, in both directions. They're pretty much in the same direction most right. of the time. He does not cut, out, cut it off, though, you know? Let go, release. Again, I want to cut the ring over. You cut, cut, cut off the trigon. It's the same concept. Actually, it's probably easier because there's less room here. But Irwin keeps allowing Oxenine to circle, and it's, it's to his own demise because Oxenine can stay comfortable even on the outside. Knowing he's never going to run out of room. Stance not quite as wide here in this round. That's the shuffle of the feet you want to see from Mark Irwin. That's how he can close the distance, right, Paulie? Exactly, exactly. Now he's doing not as wide, but he's still reaching. Yeah. And again, he still has to negotiate those last six inches, and it's not easy. Oxen 9 doesn't make it easy on you. You can tell that both men put in the work, but the Josh is in incredible shape. Keep running, I'm showcasing a, a high level of athleticism. 
here in our main event of the evening. Less than 30 seconds left in the fourth. Quick snap of the jab late in the round. And this is just, this fight has been what you call smart boxing on the part of Oxnard. This yep. shot there by, by Owen. That might have got Oxnard's attention. And he's hurt, holding now. That body shot hurt Oxnard. He pops it! Three minutes remain. shot that hurt Oxen died. That was a clear big punch. And he's been out and coming forward a lot. He's missed a lot, but he's coming forward a lot. Yes. That's around the wall ball missed most of the punches. He was coming forward against me, too. Yeah, absolutely decision, did. So. Yeah. You never know what they're judging here. Mark Irwin, two-time, two-division, back-to-back. USA Boxing and California State Champion. The thing about Oxenline's defense is he's not really countering a lot, and also he's making a lot of defensive moves, but they're not defensive moves attached with an offensive attack, you know, so they're not a counter, a counter punch. So he creates a lot of times the illusion in spots that he's just running, but then he'll come in and drop a shot here and there, you know, so, but, oh, good body shot again by Irwin. Fifth and final round. Irwin was telling us literally telling us he's not built like me. And I think he's trying to say that because, you know, he, he's the one trying to chase and make the fight the whole time. But he's right. saying, it's not just a matter of will, it's a matter of skill, too. And the thing is, Erwin has to learn to cut off this ring. Look how he just freely allows Oxenai in the circle. And Oxenai's not really working. You see, again, but again, it's been Erwin trying to make the fight here at the beginning of this round. But if Erwin would just cut off the triangle, I mean, it, it could cause serious problems on Oxenai because Oxenai is... You can kind of almost see the stall is sort of falling apart. Look, he's not responding much. No, and whatever happened a moment ago with what was a takedown, whatever you want to call it, that bothered Josh. Yeah, and that's the thing. More and more little things bother you when when you're fatigued and you're you know you're you kind of low on energy. You push me, I'll push you, but who's gonna land the big punch? Man, just watch Josh. There's not a lot he's translating defense to offense. There's a natural attack. But you see just that push. Now Josh has, has much legs left, man. That body shot hurt him last round, and that wasn't the hardest push right there. And Erwin's continuing to go to the body. And let's not forget, Paulie, he rolled his ankle. Yeah, that could also be it too. Right? Yep. You know, you can't get to get that too. Josh, Josh is going to play. Erwin is, even last round, has made it interesting. I'm Stop. telling you, man, this thing could hey, hey, hey. come down to that knockdown, too. Feels like the shark is attacking. You can almost see the, 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 the sand coming out of the alley. Absolutely. Not to use the same expression again, but really. The shark is attacking. Can the preacher man swim rapidly enough to avoid? The thing is, does Owen realize that? the urgency here, he's got to just go for it. And if he goes for it, he may get it, too, because Oxendine is literally just looking at the clock trying to run it out. 40 seconds remain. Oh, big shot by Earl. Owen is having himself a really a doozy of a fifth round. This would have been really been interesting in another state if it would have been seven. I, I could not agree more. I don't know why Erwin, see on that break, why Erwin is taking a huge step back. Erwin yeah. should, should be taking the minimum steps back because he's, he's got to be the one who want to chase Oxen down. They go the distance. Great to see the respect after the bad boy. This is what you want to see. Yeah, these two guys have a drink together at the after party. Absolutely. After they get cleaned up, I'm taking a picture of both of them. I like it. I like it. They left Good it all action. in. Good, Good try, gone. Good action. Five round title fight.
telling you, man, it, that knockdown could come into play here. I, I'm already early, thinking early, that. Early on, it was all oxidine, but especially the last couple of rounds, it started to really get funny, especially in the fifth round. I mean, yeah. The fifth round was all early. But even the fourth round, I'm not sure oxidine did enough. You know, he, he didn't throw a lot of punches. It's almost like oxidine got that knockdown and tried to sit on that extra lead, but yeah, it wasn't enough rounds. I'll tell you what, again, seven rounds would have been really interesting. I don't know that oxidine would have had a lot left if there were seven rounds in this fight. I agree. I agree. Nice little blood stain you got there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't bring my my towel. Today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At these fights, you always got to prepare. I, I think my dry cleaner knows whenever I'm there. <laughs> he knows when I'm done BYB. <laughs> Judges rendering their decision. Will it be Mark Irwin or will it be Josh Oxendine to leave with the belt? We await the decision of our main event. I mean, Paulie, I'm not a math major, but I know enough about math with what knocked down in a 10-8. Yeah. I uh, bad. Yeah, it could, it's, I'm telling you, man, that, that could be a play a crucial part in the decision. And also the fact that it's a five-round title fight, not a seven-round title fight. You have to keep that in mind as well. It's going to make you say a what if. Yeah. Nervous time for both men as they await the official decision. We're going to find out, Mark Irwin. We're going to find out. The official decision is in. Ladies and gentlemen. Big mo. After five full championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Judge Linderman sees the contest 46 to 46. While judges Udeaga and Stamey see the contest 47 to 45, declaring your winner by majority decision and the new BYB lightweight champion, Mark the Shark Irwin. Mark Irwin is the champion. I'll tell you something else to keep in mind, Goldie. That right hand that Oxendine landed, he didn't throw a lot of punches after that. Sit on his laurels, or did he hurt his right hand? Great right. point. 